is week four back in Germany for us, which means that we are almost at halfway of the time frame that we wanted to give us to finish this van. That means that we need to get going this week on finishing up the kitchen so that next week we can start on the bed, which is the last like area in our van that needs to get finished. So let's get going. So the state of the kitchen is quite jumbled. There are some sides that have drawers, some that don't, some that need drawers removed. There's a lot going on. So we're going to start with this side and concentrate on this. Once that is finished, we'll move on and make our way around the kitchen. So if you saw last week's video, you will know the problem that we have with this drawer. We had to cut a piece off and then the whole front broke, so we needed to put a new front on it, which is also why this one isn't painted and the rest is. Now putting the drawer back in, it doesn't fit like the old one did, so we have a big gap up here and on the bottom, it's pretty much sitting on the bottom drawer and we don't want that. So we have to put the whole drawer a little bit upwards, about two millimeters, so we're going to detach it from the rails, move it a bit up and put it back in and hope that it fits up. A pencil. A pencil. Fucking pencil! So we gave them another sanding down, we fit that one in properly and now it should be ready to go. We're gonna take them all out, we're gonna, well, repaint them because some of them have scratches and all of the sides aren't painted and this one isn't painted at all. So another session of painting and then putting them back in. Now that we are finished with this side for now, we are going to move over to the other side. Here you can see that I already took out two of the drawers because we had some troubles with our fridge since they kind of collided. So I sanded those down a little bit. We're going to put them back in and see if they fit. And then they're kind of all over the place. And since we want this to be like our last time putting them in, we want them to fit perfectly. So we need to kind of make adjustments so that they all have the same gaps in between them and then we should be okay with this side. So as you can see, this is our first problem child. There's quite a big gap right now, but if I use different holes that we made, the, this drawer sits right on top of this drawer, which we also don't want. So we made the mistake here to make a lot of holes and then we didn't mark which holes are the actual... Are you okay? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. We made the mistake of making too many holes to test different things out, and then we didn't mark which ones are the correct ones, so now we have to kind of try everything out again, but we'll get there eventually. As it's currently over 10 degrees, and the glue that we're gonna use for this only needs half an hour to cure, uh, we're quickly going to glue these two feet for our trash can back in there and then move on to the stuff above. Stuff above! We put all the rest of the drawers back in and they actually fit for one, so that's a win. We now just have to finish making the rest that currently looks empty. For here, we have a front that we're just going to glue in since there is not a drawer there because you don't have any room behind it. We already cut a piece that should fit in there, but we just have to like make some adjustments to see if it actually fits before we can paint it. And then also we still have to fix this situation. <laughs> because if you know from our last video, we are going to glue this on top of this drawer so that it looks like it's two drawers, but it's actually one. And we just still need to make like the construction of this. So these are actually not fully staying in here yet. We do have to take this one back out, but, but I don't think it should be too much of a deal. So let's get going. Put it in this way. Thank you. 
Where it says unten is not down. That's what I, that's what we talked about though. No, I said Yes, it's we down. said up is down. Hi. He's hard to like. No. <laughs> you got no, confused. We, didn't. <laughs> we did not say that up at all. It's down. Happy. That's very tight. Okay. So other way. So down is down. Down is down. This is ugly. So what do I do? Just sand it down a little bit where it says unten. Down. So you can also sand up. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> I can't sand up. I can only sand down. <laughs> yes. So as you saw, it doesn't fit 100%, but like it's pretty close. So Robin is just going to do a little teeny bit of sanding and then it should be able to fit. It fits in here. We can open and close our fridge without problems, which is always good. So we're going to take this out, paint it, and we now only have our trash can part left, but we're going to worry about that tomorrow. Now that the parts where we want to screw our trash can drawer onto is finished, we are going to attempt to actually put the drawer in. We are not 100% sure if that's going to be an easier or a hard task, but I guess we're going to find out. It's going to be hard. I think we're just going to have to try it out, honestly. I don't know if there is a way to actually know. The Kleber dazwischen haben, dass das halt jetzt höher ist als das da. Which it is, which is terrible. That's actually pretty bad. Maybe it works, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it works. You never know with these things. We can try it out, but I highly doubt it. I mean, it looks horrible on this side, but... You'll never see that. So we did manage to put it in so that it actually fits, which is kind of surprising, honestly. The only thing is we don't really remember why we wanted to mount our trash can on the bottom and not like on the side like any other drawer that we did because this feels a little bit unsafe. Um, it is drooping a bit and then if there's also a trash can and trash in it, we'll have to see how all this works out. But. I guess it's staying like this for now. We do have to sand a little bit off of here and then paint it before we put it in finally. But that's kind of the way it's gonna look. It is finally time to put in our first set of drawers permanently, which will make the kitchen look a lot more finished. So I'm very excited about that. I don't know how to explain this without it being boring. Then don't. Okay. Now that our first set of drawers is finished, we are going to move on to the next one, which is going to be our gas tank door. Because this isn't straight. That's what we're testing. Maybe it's the right amount of amount of slant. Yeah, but do you want to do something side? <laughs> yes, do something side. Okay. Halt die Fresse. Because if that's slanted, you don't want, need to watch out that it then doesn't like drag over the floor. Can you check how much the gas tank box opens? Nice. Exactly how much we anticipated. That's good stuff. Yeah, that's gonna be okay. Very tight. Alright. But alright. This day has once again made a turn for the worse, and I don't want to deal with it anymore. Um, so this door was too wide in the beginning, so it was like colliding with the drawers. So we just measured out how much we need to take off, took that off, and now it's way too small. 
we did not account for it being like at an angle we kind of measured it as if it was a straight drawer and now realize that you can't do that so there's like a good chunk missing now it's about a centimeter too short so now we don't know what to do we don't really have enough wood left to cut out a new one it's also not very easy or accurate to just glue the part back on so we're gonna have to brainstorm what we'll do with the store or maybe just kind of be annoyed by it get over it and then decide something yeah I had high hopes that today we'll just finish this door so we would be able to paint it and just properly put it in tomorrow, but I guess that's not happening today. So we've decided to not make any too quick decisions considering our door, since that might lead to more problems. So we're going to sleep a night and think about it, and for now we're going to do something that's hopefully a little bit more fun and more straightforward, which is putting knobs onto our drawers. So since we've started to take the easiest way we can think of we are going to make our knobs all in the center and then five centimeters from the top so we are going to measure out the center of the top the center of the bottom and then just draw a line down the drawers so at least if it's like slanted it looks like it's in one straight line rather than everything being like all over the place so we're first going to draw on where we think that the knobs will go and then We'll go from there. I think I like them like this. Do you want the pointy bit up? How do you like them? I would put them in and then we'll see. Why don't we do like different ones? No. No? <laughs> Just do everything <laughs> on like a slightly crooked angle. No, so like, it's like but it turns. Like, so like that and then you go like this and then you go like You know, this. that only works here. Everything else is gonna be wild. I don't care. No. <laughs> okay, so we put them in first. You must then. decide. You, you must, must decide. decide. In the garage. In the garage. It is the next day and I feel like it's an exciting day. Yesterday we finished putting the knobs onto our drawers and it worked out fine, there were no complications, it was just something that was going well for us. And today I'm going to finish putting all of the other drawers into where they're supposed to go. And I feel like it's such a big step because all of the things you've been doing to prepare for actually putting them in is like such a long process. But then putting it in it feels like you get to reap all the rewards of what you did previously. So I'm excited to have it look like an actual kitchen, not things being open everywhere anymore. So let's get going. All of the drawers are in, but for some reason, this gap is a lot bigger than the rest of them. I think I just started too far down, so now I'm gonna try and move everything a little bit up and hope I can close this gap. And then I'm finished with this. So I ended up having to undo and redo half of what I had done to make everything look good, but let's not talk about that. The important part is that all of the drawers are now in, which is very exciting. Next, I'm going to put in our closing mechanism so that the doors don't fly open while we're driving. And for that, we're using these child locks. The camera died on me yesterday, so I'm going to explain to you how these child locks work now. So we have one part that goes on to the inside of the wall where your drawer is going to sit and then the other part actually sits on the drawer itself. You have this little mechanism that then when you close the drawer locks into place by hooking into the part that is on the wall. And then you take a magnet which opens it back up and then you can open up the drawer. So we're going to put these on all of the drawers and try to have them like on the same side and relatively the same height so we don't get confused by where we have to open it with our magnet. And these should really hold the drawers in place while we're driving. So this is a drawer that opens normally. Now we can close the lock and it doesn't, obviously there's like a little room where it can move, but it doesn't open anymore. Press the magnet to it, and we can open it back up. And these also don't have to always lock. There's like this little tab that you can move so that it's open always. So when we're stationary, we can just open them so you don't have the hassle of like having to put a magnet to it every time. And then when we want to leave, we'll just close it and everything is shut. Time to put the rest of the knobs onto these drawers. 
ausmachen oder das ich nicht mehr. Okay, so we've put in the knobs on this side as well and the last step is to put in our front covering our sink and then we're pretty much done with our kitchen except for the gas tank thing but that's fucked and we're not gonna do that this week. Our last piece is in and that pretty much concludes our kitchen build. This has probably been one of the hardest challenges as it's just been very complex with a lot of things not adding up as we want it. But in the end we made it work. It's not as nice as I wanted to but well it's gonna probably break anyways at some point so. We will keep it as it is and then we'll move on to the bed which is the last big project next week and then we'll see if we make it in four weeks or if we have to extend again.